introduce myself I'm gonna get you off like there's no one else Please let me be your flesh and blood Your dirty secret, your rock of love Rock of love home last night and we're down to 10 girls and I am so happy. It's way easier to go down to the hot girls and get rid of all the lame girls because there's only 10 left. Now we can just knock those bitches out. I'm not gonna bitch about it. I'm gonna What's up, lady? Hello! Hey, can I get you guys to come downstairs, please? Leave yes, your luggage sir. for now. I just need to okay. talk to you. What is going on here? Are we in trouble? Did somebody deuce on the bus? All right, ladies, listen up. I just want to let you know something. Maria has a medical condition. Um, while you were sleeping, she was rushed to the hospital. What? 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 Big John gathers us around and tells us that Maria is not with us anymore and that she went to the hospital. And I'm crushed. I'm really worried about her. I don't know what to think. As we speak, Brett's on his way over there to check on her. But in true touring fashion, you need to get your bags. We need to keep going. This couldn't have happened to, you know, a better person. Like, why couldn't this happen to Marcia? I mean, no one would miss her if she was gone. Oh, oh my God. God. She told me she was really right. sick. I'm very sad. She's adorable. She's a very sweet girl, and I think she deserved to be here. Fortunately, she's not, and I wish her all the best. Hello. Hey, Maria. Hey, it's Brett. How are you doing? Hi, Brett. I'm good. It's a lot better. I got the news that they, they took you to the hospital, and uh, I know an ambulance and everything came, and I just heard everything. I just want to make, I'm really concerned. I want to make sure you're okay. Funny thing that Brett is, they, they were trying to take my blood. Right. And they were like, you can't get this girl to bleed. And I said, I know you can't get me to bleed. Brett has my heart. Oh, I see. The last 20 years, I've been on the road with type 1 diabetes, and I know for a fact that sometimes having a serious medical condition and the road don't mix. I just want to make sure that you know that uh, that I'm thinking about you a lot, and uh, I would like to come over and see you. Oh, that would be nice of you. Yeah, and I know that the doctors have told us not to come over, but uh, that's uh, that's just the way I roll. I'm a rule breaker, so I'm going to come over whether they like it or not. Oh. The realization that Maria is no longer going to be on the road with us really hit me hard, and I just wanted her to know how much I care about her and I'm going to miss her. Well, I will see you in, in, in just a few minutes, okay? Okay. All right, thanks. Hey. Hey, I told them we have a note. Everybody come down. We got a note. We have a note. We have a note. note. Bright lights and big city lay ahead. The tour rolls to Chicago, where you will watch me play, and I'll watch your every move. <laughs> Make sure to dress in press for the big show. See you in the Windy City. Love, Brett. Woo! Dress to impress. Like, finally, we're going to get to pull out, you know, our cute little outfits. This is going to be hot. Um, it's really, really hard to get dressed to impress on the bus. Seeing as there's one bathroom on the bus with a very dimly lit mirror and no full-length mirrors. <laughs> Brett wants like a girl that's like funky and hot. Like I'm thinking about like what would be good for like Brett her. is what I really think. Yeah, honestly, I don't see her with Not Brett. what would be good for me. I don't me. see Taya like, with Brett. I don't see Mindy with Brett at all. We're here to have fun. Oh, I'm always having fun. I know you are. Do you want to have a shot with me? No, I don't, because I'm trying to stay somewhat not that fucked up. Marcia is definitely a party girl. I am a little worried that it might backfire on her. And then I don't need to be there. Well, oh, you yeah. sure if anybody starts to Oh. Um. Tonight, I'm at the Horseshoe Casino doing an awesome concert. We walk in, you know, we got the lights. Like, you can't help but it to be a little contagious. Come on, Hobags. Come on, Hobags. Come on, Hobags. Go ahead. Just go. Hello. Hello, girls. How are you doing today? 
We are here at the beautiful Horseshoe Casino. We're gonna do an awesome show here tonight, and uh, which leads me to this. Uh, today's challenge is simply called the Roadie Challenge. Oh my God. Do we have to play a song, or do we have to pretend that we're in a band? Because is that a roadie? I don't even know. Before we even get started, let me introduce you to a very good friend of mine, our stage manager and good time friend, <laughs> Joey Stumpo. Round of applause for <laughs> Joey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> All right, so Joey is here to make sure that you all complete the roadie challenge safely, uninjured. We are completely not dressed for this challenge appropriately, which was probably the joke behind the whole thing. You're gonna be divided into two teams. We got two stages, both with equal gear on them, all right? You have to take that stage, dismantle it, and get it all the way out into the trailers so we can take off for the next city in which we're touring in, okay? There's boots. Those boots are up there for your safety. Let's make sure everyone stays safe. There's a lot of stuff up there that's heavy. It could fall, hurt you, not good. I'm ready for this. I grew up around my dad in bands. I know how to strike a stage. I can tear down those risers. I can set up drum sets. I can do it all. The way to divide it up into teams so it's completely fair, John here has a pick bag, all right? We've got black picks, we've got red picks, and then we've got a very special green pick in there. Yeah. <laughs> I have a red pick. <laughs> I have a black pick. Black pick. Black pick. Red pick. Green. <laughs> black. Got the black. I said black. Got it. Red team over here. Black team over here. Green pick. Come on up. So I'm on a team with Beverly, Britannia, and Natasha. Since there's two dudes on this team, hopefully we'll be able to win the challenge. The winning team gets absolute VIP treatment at the concert tonight. You get a beautiful room. You get taken care of backstage, and then tomorrow you're gonna go on an amazing date, all right? The losing team gets nothing. Because Marcia picked the green pick, she is my chosen one. You're gonna get completely pampered VIP treatment, all right? Marcia picks the green pick and automatically will be joining the winning team for the VIP treatment. That's not fair. Are you ready? Ready. ready. Let's roadie, come on. Go. Come on, girls. I know I'm one of the strongest people here. I know I can do this. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. I have a problem. I can't even get up the fucking Brittany. stage. I got a piece of goddamn bad. I have got to pee so badly. Oh God, shut up about it. I cannot move. I can't, I can't even move. I got a piece of bad. Mindy's is like, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Suck it up and hold your pee. There's no holding this. I've got to go bad. Fucking go. It's not a matter of holding it at this point. I cannot take another step until I use the bathroom. I'm gonna have All right, to. Hey, Carol, let's go. What are we doing, cords? All the cords. Get the cords, cords, cords off. Cords. The cords over here. Grab all the cords to Taya. All the cords to Taya. You don't have to wrap them. Just bring them to me. I got it. So there are two stages, and we have to break down all the instruments. I do the drums. I, I know how to do it. My dad has drum set. For a little oh, my panty this holes. This is for a big one. Wrap all the cords neatly. How do I roll these? Like this one right here. I roll them. Here. Dude, OK, what else is there? Break down the entire stage. Yeah, take it. Take it out. Take it out, girls. And get it to the trailer. All right, I'm taking this shit right now. Okay, wait, all right, I'm jumping. <laughs> so and pack it neatly. OK, hold yeah, on, leave it right here. Speakers have to go first. Speakers first. The first team to get that done in time wins. Where's Mindy? Where is Mindy at? Mindy went to the bathroom. Is Mindy gone? Yeah. It's really hard for three people to work because Mindy's taking a bathroom break and probably in there reapplying lip gloss and fixing her effing hair while we're doing all this. Come on, Mindy. Look at you go, baby. I ran to the bathroom as fast as I could. I mean, it was like speed peeing, but I can tell my girls are pissed at me. I got to move on, move on, move on. I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I, got, it. I, got, it. I don't think I got, got it. I got it, I got it. We're going yeah. here. I'm basically the leader of the team um, unofficially. Put it on the side. Wow. Put it on the side. Ask him. Ask homie boy. Lay down on the side. Lay down on the side. Good job. Okay. The next one, the little one. The little one I am on next. What one's the little? This small one right here. Leave the legs on it. Grab your chin. Take it out. Taya, hey, you're rocking, baby. Just, just don't get hurt. You're too sexy. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to have to go out with Joey tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. God, baby. You're right, baby. Hey. Holy shit. This isn't good. All right, put it on top. We have to 
be Brett's roadies. We have to break down the stage. We have to get it packed up. The team that wins gets the VIP treatment for Brett's concert. Tell you, you're rocking, baby. Just, just don't get hurt. You're too sexy. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to have to go out with Joey tonight. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. God, baby, you're okay. baby. I look over, and Taya has completely fallen off the stage. And it's not a small drop. It's, it's a pretty far fall. You are, baby? Hey. I'm good. Are you, okay? are you sure? Wait, stop, 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 no, stop. Slow down, slow down a little. While Taya just did a double gainer backwards flip, landed on her skull, crawled back on the stage, and kept rocking. She's showing me right now her determination to win an awesome VIP date with me tonight. Now that's hot. Doing awesome, hey, baby. Come here. To be honest, I'm hurt bad. Check her, Joey. Check her, man. You all right? Come on. She you all right? Oh, my God. Tell her to Don't down. throw things. Slow down. You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. You guys are in the lead. Don't break right down right now. Kick your ass. We're kicking ass. Oh, wait. Let's have it. Get the fuck out. I just stop the fucking stage. Okay. Get in there. Wait a minute. Don't act like you're in charge of everything. Great. Now, in the middle of this whole challenge, you know, we were kind of ahead. And now she's gonna sit over here and sob and cry and be a baby, and they're gonna win. Shut up! Stop crying yeah, and get the no, fuck out of here! Brett's a rock star, and if you wanna date a rock star, then you better get used to falling off the stage, bitch. If that whiny baby ass bitch wins, how do they lose because of her? Uh, I'm not gonna say. The truck is messy. <sighs> <sighs> All right, ready? Go. We're trying to get everything down there and packed in as fast as we can and as right as we can. If Taya is seriously injured, then all the better for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Marcia, she comes up to me with that ever so sexy smell of Doritos and tequila. I cannot help but be turned on by this girl. Well, the thing is, Yes, tell me the thing. The thing is, what's the um, thing? I haven't had time to spend time with you. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, we had a little time, uh, but not well, a good time. I was, you know, drunk. Right. <laughs> I just want to tell you one thing. The girls are like, oh, Masia, are you in love with Brad? I was like, no, I'm not in love with Brad. I don't know, Brad. Yeah, how can no you be idea. in love? We haven't had enough time but to even some girls get say they are. Did I say turned on? That, you know, I don't expect everyone to come in here and be like, I mean, I don't I'm feel not. that way. I didn't walk in here and go, I'm in love with all of you in my I'm soul. Not gonna be like I may be in lust, or you're all hot. I can I'm look not at in you. lust yet, because right, I don't gotta, even know you. Well, we got to work on that then. No, I guess we got to at least do. get to lust level. I'm thinking I might be a little turned off right now. Uh, you know, that could be bad. But I don't know you. It's pretty hard to have a connection with somebody when you don't even talk to them. Oh, when you do, you don't remember. Well, for now, I, I took all that into note, and we'll just watch the hot girls. Right. I'm thinking maybe the only way we get to the lust is if I smear my body in tequila and Doritos. Push again! That's not good. It's never good when you drop the symbols. It's never good to drop anything. I look over at the other team, and they still have stuff to load onto their trailer. I'm thinking we definitely still have a chance at this point. We're ahead, but it's close. Go! Fuck yeah! It's so close. It's neck and neck. I mean, we're down to, like, one item. We have to make sure we get our doors shut before the other team does, so we need to haul ass right now. <laughs> won this fucking challenge because seriously, I need that shit. I need some VIP treatment. I've been living with these nasty girls on a bus. This is proof that it doesn't matter how hard you try, you will lose. It doesn't matter. I think it's a game of how cute can you be doing it versus can you do it. I'm just tired of trying and trying and trying and it getting me nowhere. I mean, I did everything I possibly could have done. I gave it everything I had in me. Eliminations are going to come again, and I haven't had any time with him again. He still doesn't know anything about who I am. Boo, frickity hoo. I'm just going to start not trying, because then I'll win. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 
the red team, you guys won. Johnny, why don't you take him off and show him the VIP treatment. Good times, all right? Good to go. Thank you very much. Go. You're out. Take those. See you in a little bit. Marcia does not deserve to have VIP treatment for Brett's concert. I mean, Marcia, she didn't have to do anything. She wasn't even involved in the challenge. You're welcome. Awesome job. Ladies, here's a VIP suite for you. You got some food, drinks. Come on in, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, my God. Thank you. So we walk into our VIP suite, and first off, we see guests from Brett. You guys, oh, look how freaking cute. I'm like, I'm so, this is so worth it. I'm so this is the I coolest know. present. Like, oh my god, I love this freaking bracelet. This is like probably the best gift I think that's been given so far. The boxes that they came in are all carved, and they're just—it's really cool. It's really something I'm gonna like to have for a long time. I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Oh. What do you guys think they're doing? Oh, Farrah has to hang out with the dorks. <laughs> I just want to say this, I have a little surprise that will be good for one of you. Even though the black team lost, I've decided I'm going to give one of them something a little special. Joey, in his hand, has got four phones. Here's the deal, I programmed my number in here. What it is is there's a ringback tone, right? So when you call me, my song go that far beyond there. The one who hears it gets to go with the VIP tonight with the girls. If you hear regular old ring, then, uh, you know, you get nothing. All right, so here we go. I'm going to, good job. There you go, Tay. Okay. Mindy, good job. All right, there we go. I am so excited to get a phone because now I have another chance to be up there on stage with him during this concert so he can see who I am. Let's go on our white trash picnic. <laughs> Joey, show these girls what they didn't win at the white trash picnic. <laughs> Let's go have fun, girls. Oh, that sucked. That challenge sucked. That was hard. I'd rather do the ice skating any day than that. I just feel like all the other girls are going to be up there be bopping around pouring shots on each other, and I don't even think they really like him. I am drinking. Because I like to drink, and I'm having fun. I love the girls. Well, let's wear this right now, our robes. The bathroom. <laughs> so let's wear our bathroom robes. Can we, is there a shower in here? Is there a shower in there, Marcia? There is. There? Yeah. Good, because I'm dirty. Does this even look good on me, or do I look like a freaking heifer? That's good. I didn't think there was any chance we were even going to be close to losing. That's the only reason why I let the medic look at me, because we still had, like, three risers in there I would have helped you carry out. All my girls were getting to go to VIP, you know, and I'm having to sit here with these two crying, whiny babies that do nothing but bitch and are lame, first of all. And all I know is I was just praying to God that I got that ring back to them. Let's all do it at the same time, then we'll know. Ringing. So yours isn't it? It's calling. It's not me. Press it. Oh, it's you. Yes! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> oh my god. This is Kelsey. I heard the ring back tone. Awesome. All right, well, listen, Big John is right there. He's going to bring you up. You ready? Yes, I'm on my way. Keep on rocking, baby. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, bye. Oh my god, I'm out of this white trash party. <laughs> Kelsey. Hey, Big John. Ready to go, baby? You're the I'm winner. I'm ready. Bye. Bye. Love you. Kelsey gets to go to VIP. Now I know that I'm not going to be spending this time with Brett that I so badly wanted. It's a mixture of pain. It's a mixture of hurt. And I'm pissed. Ready to go have some fun? Oh, yeah. That white trash party was too white trash for me. <laughs> Shots. We'll take a shot quick. I know. We're hanging out in this VIP suite, getting ready for Brett's concert. Kelsey came to join us. If it couldn't be Farah, I would rather have it be Kelsey here with us because Taya and Mindy, ugh. Here we go. We're going right through here. So we are now escorted to general admission. We're not allowed to put on lip gloss, brush our hair, and these seats in general admission suck. And Mindy is being lame as usual. 
I just feel like such a loser because I feel like I'm the only one that truly is interested in Brett Michaels. The only one who seems to be having any kind of fun at the concert besides dancing around with the other girls. If you can't appreciate his music, then why the hell are you here? Watching Brett play out there made me want to F him. It was so misery just standing there with them two. But you know what? I was still going to have a good time. It's still Brett's band. The concert at the Horseshoe is awesome. I look out and I see Farah and I see Taya and they are dancing and totally into it. And then I see Mindy. And she is such a downer right now. It is really bumming me out. The concert, it was awesome. I was dancing up on the stage, I was having fun. And everything was good. I saw in the concert some real fans. I mean, they were singing every single word and of every single song. So I gave that gift, I gave it away. And they were very happy. They were crying about it. Why the hell are you giving away something that he had specially made for you and you're just giving it away? I don't know as many songs as she does. I don't think Brett would like that. God bless you. Damn, bitch. After the concert, we go hang out at Push, which is a bar at the Horseshoe Casino. Guys, listen up. Brett? Is a little bit worn out. He gave 110% up there. Big John comes in and tells us that Brett's really wiped out after his concert, which he should be. So we decide to blow up a little bit of steam and have some fun. So Joey's going to escort you guys around, gamble wherever Watch you want. Out. We're drinking! Yeah! Let's drink! Yeah, let's drink. Yeah, let's drink. What's your name? I'm Beverly. Beverly, I'm Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. We're thinking that Brett's going to show up. Um, he doesn't. Then his band members come in and start hanging out and drinking with us. But we haven't even met any of you guys. I know, I haven't met you guys. What's your name? Ray. Ray? I saw you on stage. You were rocking. Okay. From Alabama the last couple weeks. Oh, come on. I'll be here the whole time. Hell yeah. It's a good time to rock and roll. Rock on, baby. Hell yeah. Don't punch me in the face. All right, I'll try not to. Maybe later, though, after I drink some more, after this Jaeger, because Jaeger makes me mean. Right. But I'll try not to get me we'll to you. have a good time. Yep, it's a good time, baby. Look at her, oh my god. Oh, get the fuck on. I am so pissed. Beverly is like all over Brett's drummer, flirting with him, and that's just not cool. I'm sorry, we're here for Brett. Hey, hurry, hurry, drink. We're going to get it. Kissing Brett's drummer. Hello, are we here for Brett? Oh, bitch! I will fuck your ass up. Fuck you. You made out with that fuck. I'm talking about you. That bitch is all over you. She's here to fucking talk to Brett. It's all the 
girls say that they see Beverly make out with the drummer. Hey, was she not trying to get up on your mix? I didn't actually see it, but I'm not surprised. She had a lot of alcohol. <laughs> bitch! You fucking bitch! Me. I'm so pissed off that Beverly is being such a whore because she's lucky she's here in the first place and she's out making out with his friends. That's not cool. Ashley! You want to talk to Ashley! What? Yes, they're charming. No, seriously, I'm, I'm asking though. I'm here for Brett. I'm not here for you. I want you to go. Ashley, I don't know what you said you saw. That's all I'm asking. I don't care. I she saw you making out with the drummer. I didn't make out with the drummer. I'm absolutely positive I saw Beverly make out with Brett's drummer. Okay, she saw you making out with him. Okay, I didn't make out with him. You know, Ashley's so adamant about what happened that I'm like, okay, did I black out? Did I miss something? What happened, you know? Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. You vomit, you're a pussy. Shut the Give me that fork. I'm gonna have it go down. When we get to the hotel in Chicago, I am completely embarrassed to be associated. Everybody bossed on me. With these drunken idiots. I'm so sophisticated. Oh, sh French. I'm drunk and I'm puking, but listen, this is the life of a rock star, okay? Get over it. People puke and they poop their pants. Where's the garbage? No. Right there. I'll puke on your mom. Your mom loves it. I fucking love this shit. My groin must be like freaking cold. <laughs> Ass has a huge bruise on. Does anybody have a hair dryer? Because I don't see any hair I haven't seen any either, and I'm freaking starting to froze. So I wake up this morning in Chicago, and I'm not feeling the greatest. There was a lot of drinks flowing last night, so today we're all kind of paying for it. What's up? Tell us about that cheese last night. Huh? Tell us about the cheese last night. Do you remember making out with some guy? Yeah. One no guy way. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely positive I saw Beverly make out with Brett's drummer. Well, he must have been drunk because he was not cute. Yeah. yeah, he was fucking so <laughs> I wasn't. There. I honestly have forgotten about the whole you kiss the drummer thing. Did you see me? I did. I saw you. Oh, that's if, You weren't making out. I just saw you guys kiss, kiss for a second. And then I saw, then like when I, then I saw it, so I threw a chip at you. Because I was like, I was like, fuck that. And I threw like a chip. I'm basically like, no, it didn't happen. Ashley's sitting there swearing up and down that it did. Now I'm pissed off. All I want to do is talk to him so that I can, you know, clear up the situation so that he knows that I wouldn't do that. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Obviously, some of you had more fun than others last night. <laughs> I got a note from Brett here. Want to see you want to come get this? Well, your name's Marcia, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Oh. Ask and Rhodey, and he will swear oh. that there is nothing better than a beer after striking a stage. <laughs> it's like 8 in the morning, and Marcia's already drunk. So when she reads the note, the English is so broken, I don't know what the note says. So let's get ready, baby. All right, shall we? Let's go. Come on. I was on the winning team yesterday. I'm on a date with Natasha, Beverly, Britannia, and Marcia. Once again, I'm on a date with two dudes. I should have no problem getting all the attention from Brett. Hey, hey. how you doing? Good, Brett. How's it going? Man, man? awesome, man. Good to see you, too. Welcome to Rock Bottom. <laughs> We're going to drink some Brett's brews. Cool. Do we want to uh, sample a little of the wares yeah. before we go? Uh -huh. Is there all... Jump in. Let's grab a beer. Come on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. To a good day today. Cheers. Oh, you like awesome the same one as me. Smoking hot ladies, ice cold beer. What more can a man ask for? Well, oh, that is good. Mm-hmm. If somebody is going home, who do you think it is? Um, I think we all know the answer to that one. Last night at the concert, you were just acting like you weren't having a good time at all, and everybody said they noticed it on stage. I was and upset. I know, but we were at a concert, but they noticed it from the stage, you know what I mean? So if he noticed it... I know. His perception, since he doesn't know us, is going to be yeah, hard, you know what I mean? that's like, exactly what I'm saying. Like, right. he doesn't know you, so of he course... Doesn't, well, I feel like we challenge right. you so that I can tell him anything about me, so what am I supposed to do? Well, I mean, if that was me and I hadn't talked to him, I would still act like I was having the best time, even though I was thinking that. Well, I'm not very good at acting. 
got to do what you got to do, I guess. He's got, a, he's got a spread set up for you over here. I am on this date with four other people. I'm still kind of nervous about talking to Brett about me making out with the drummer. And I am now trying to figure out the right time to say something. And by the way, your concert was awesome last night. It was you, so high. Did you have a good I love the harmonica. <laughs> I looked over at you all a few times. Yeah. And you, were all, you were all just dancing and going. Did you see how nice Marcia was? There was a fan that was just crying because she like loved you so much. And Marcia gave her her bracelet. Did you for real? I have an agenda here. I need to point out that Marcia gave her necklace away. And hopefully that this is enough for him to get her out of here. They were singing, they were crying, and they knew right. every single yeah. song. Mm -hmm. I just thought that they deserved, I know they deserved more than I did. I'm bummed. I mean, I, for, in one sense, I'm bummed that you gave it to him. Go with me. I'm bummed because I wanted you to have it as a gift from me. But in the other sense, it's really, really cool that you did that. It means you have a good heart. And I know you've been very open about saying you don't know a whole lot about the music and stuff like that, which is, so I understand. Look, I don't want to be too down on Marcia, but her giving away a gift that I just gave her, you know what? That definitely, definitely sends a signal. I don't know my own lyrics sometimes, so it's okay. It's fair. What happened last night? Big John, my band, came out and told me there was some activity going on in the, uh, the after show. Somebody was trying to make out with a drummer. Oh. OK. If that ha I honestly. Nice. I did want to talk to you about that, if you don't mind, for a second. Go ahead. Honestly, um, you were drunk I, and horny. I honestly do not think I kissed him. I do not remember kissing I him. You. OK, listen, I'm, I'm not saying you're lying. I do not remember it. So either I was way too drunk to remember it. I saw it. And I'm not trying to be a bitch to you, but that is just Look, I agree. It, it wasn't cool. If I did it, it wasn't cool. I'm pissed off that I'm sitting here having to defend myself in front of Brett, and nobody's believing me. Well, here's my thing. No matter what, right. if you invited me to your show, no matter how drunk I got, would not be making out with your friends. Oh. <clears throat> Lunch was a great way to find out a little bit of dirt on these girls. Hey, thank you, brother. Man. And now, tonight, with elimination, I got some tough decisions to make. I felt that some of these girls might be here for all the wrong reasons and not into me at all. We got everybody? Here we go. few girls that has not gotten a date with Brett. And I really needed to have a discussion with Brett to explain why my demeanor may be different than it had been previously. Honestly, at this point, I think that I'm going home tonight. Um, I think that sucks because, you know, I just, I don't want to go out like this. Not, not like this. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, everyone enjoy the concert. Yeah, yeah, I had a good it. time. Yeah. I loved it. I, I just want to say that um, tonight, uh, I think we've got much further than just a party connection at this point. I mean, I think we've had a strong one, but I think it's very clear now to me uh, what I need to do. And now there's one person that uh, is no longer going to be in a tour with us. Big John, you ready? Here we go. This girl definitely stepped up in the competition. And I think that there's some great, great times that we could have together and we could get much closer. Ashley, we come down here. Go, baby. A-bomb. <laughs> A-bomb. A-bomb. Okay. Will you continue to stay here on this tour and rock my world? Yes. Awesome. Yay. I was a little nervous, but then bragging my pass first, so obviously I was doing something right on our date. This girl, um, I feel a uh, true connection with this girl. I felt she was centered. So Natasha, would you come down here, please? Will you stay here on this tour and continue to rock my world? Of course. Awesome. <laughs> Farah, would you come down here, please? Damn. Oh, were these for you? Kelsey, will you come down here, please? You look beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You know what? Maybe who Brett is looking for is just not going to be someone like me, because I'm the normal girl with a normal life and a normal job. If anybody's the underdog, it's me. This next girl, um, I believe, knows that I am very physically attracted to her. Um, I'm starting to become emotionally attached to her. Um, she kicked ass yesterday. Taya, would you come down here, please? Will you continue to stay on this tour? and rock my world. 
this next girl, I think it was very obvious from the beginning that I felt an immediate connection to her. And then she's been a little quiet on me lately. I'm hoping she will bring it back. Britannia, would you come down here, please? I hear all these names being called down, and I'm just like, yep, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me either. Um, which didn't surprise me, though, because I think I'm going home. I just want to say that to the three of you, um, it has become pretty painfully obvious to me what I need to do. John, you can go ahead and go. I don't need those passes, all right? You can go ahead and split. So Brett sends Big John away. Now, I think we're all three going home. I just want to say that to the three of you, um, it has become pretty painfully obvious to me what I need to do. I got three girls left. I just sent John back to the bus with the last two passes. And for once in my life, I know exactly what I need to do with this elimination. Um, first with you, Marcia, is you have this wonderful soul inside of you. You got beautiful, I mean, you're a beautiful girl. At the same time, I think we're, we're both very open um, to a little bit of the misconnection right now. You know what I mean? I'm very honest. I'm not going to tell him that I like him when I don't know him. I do not know him. Mindy, I think you know by now how much I care about you, how much I'm physically attracted to you, um, and I'm trying to get to that level where I feel more emotionally connected to you. You know, do you, are you attracted enough or do you want to move on? Are you physically attracted? Are you emotionally attracted? Is there anything there to keep you in the game? I know he's already been very disappointed with me, so he may be thinking it's just not enough to keep Mindy. And Beverly, with you, I just want to say this to you. If you were to invite me, I was your date to your house to a party, and I came in there, I would not be making out with your friends. I don't think you would like it if you looked over in the corner and I'm, whether I'm kissing her, hugging her, licking her face, whatever, no matter how drunk I am, it just out of a matter of mutual respect for each other, um, it, it was pretty painful for me last night, especially to hear it from everyone but you. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, is this a bad dream? He completely has the wrong idea about me. So here's what I want to do, and it's, and it's very, very painfully obvious to me. And I get very nervous at this part. I hate this part of it. But we're going to do what's right for not only you, but for me, for all of us. Mindy. Beverly. I want you two to go to the bus and get ready to rock and bring back your A-game, all right? Holy crap. My jaw is hitting the floor. I am so completely shocked that he's keeping me, like flabbergasted that he is keeping me. I feel like I've gotten a new lease. <laughs> I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. Marcia, I give you a gift and you gave the gift away. Regardless of what the reason is, that gift was from me to you, okay? Here's the bottom line. I feel that Marcia has much more of a connection with her bottle of tequila than she does with me. And as distant as Mindy has been, and for the actions that Beverly had last night, I still have absolute feelings for these two girls. You are a warm-hearted, Brazilian woman, but your tour ends here. I didn't have time to hang out with um, Pratt. I was gonna say Chad. Oh shit. I mean, he probably think that, hey, this girl just here to party. Now we're gonna get the party started. There's all this free tequila and everybody's partying. I mean, I go to the bathroom, there's a bottle of tequila. What am I supposed to do, look at it? I'm gonna drink. I had the time of my life. And I will not regret and I will never forget the time I had here. And I thank you, everyone. Big time. To our girl Brazil, two kisses, right? Two kisses. May she have an awesome life and find the man or woman of her dreams. <laughs> Brazil. Brazil. How are we going to have a party without Marcia? I don't know, but I'm sure as hell willing to find out. Let's get on that bus and party, baby. Ask 
Kenny Rody, and he will swear that there is nothing better than a beer after striking a stage. After striking a stage. After striking a stage. After striking a stage. <laughs> no English? No English. All right, let's do it again. As you all know, I've got my own kind, my own kind, love brats. What? I 